Well, we're ready to start our next panel. And it's going to be a great one. I know you're excited about this. Um, as you might have noticed, in Germany, we watch all these shows. We have The yeah. Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, English. Yeah. Could you be quiet by the microphone, please? Thanks. <laughs> I think I hear echo. Um, and they're all dubbed in German. So the voice of Leonard Snart and Wentworth Miller is done by another voice actor. And you all know him by the name of Garrett Schmidt Voss. Hi, so good to have you on stage. Hello, thank you, schön. Hello. And you might not know this, but he has a meet and greet at a quarter to three, so 2.45. Make sure you go and say hi to him. Nice to have you on stage. Welcome. Thank you. Hallo erstmal, herzlich willkommen in Dortmund. Um, ich bedanke mich für die Gelegenheit, hier sein zu dürfen. Ähm, es war mir immer eine große Ehre, äh, Synchronsprecher zu sein und äh, hervorragenden Schauspielern äh, meine Stimme zu leihen. Ähm, unter anderem äh, Leonardo DiCaprio, äh, Jeremy Renner äh, und Jim Parsons, also äh, Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory. <lacht> Dankeschön. <lacht> Aber ich hatte auch die sehr, sehr große Ehre, schon vor vielen Jahren in äh, Prison Break Uh, Wentworth Miller meine Stimme leihen zu dürfen und natürlich auch in Legends of Tomorrow und uh, uh, Flash. Insofern möchte ich jetzt ohne groß irgendwas zu sagen euren Star ankündigen. Einen warmen Applaus für Wentworth Miller! Hi, good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So we have a lot of questions lined up, so I want to dive right into the audience questions. Uh, hello. Hi. I hope you had a great day so far. Thank you. I am. Okay. My question is, um, if you could choose an episode of any show you played a character in, which one would you choose to be your favorite? Ooh, uh, so many to choose from. Um, I think... First season, Prison Break, when Michael goes to the psych ward. Mm -hmm. That was a favorite. Um, fifth season, Prison Break, Michael meets his son for the first time. Um, yeah. Third season, Legends of Tomorrow, Leo Snart kisses his boyfriend. Woo! Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. It's a great privilege and honor to finally meet you, and I want to wish you good luck in personal professional. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my question is uh, connecting a little with uh, children. Yesterday you mentioned about uh, your uh, nephews, and in the last season of Prison Break you had the chance to play a role of a father. Mm. And I wanted to ask you, um, did this, how was this experience for you? Did it have any impact in your life? Well, sure. Having nieces and nephews changed my perspective. Um, it changed my values and my priorities because suddenly I understood that there was nothing I would not do for these little ones. There was nothing I would not do to protect these little ones. So when it came time for me to play Michael as a father, I understood better that dynamic where there's nothing Michael would not sacrifice to keep his son safe. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I am really happy to see you again this year at a convention in Europe. Thank you. So thank you, and I hope there will be more in the future. Uh, my question is, if you could choose a moment or an hour of your life to relive, what would that be and why? Who? Uh, that's a good question. It's a very good question. Um, I think I'd probably go back and maybe uh, relive um, booking some of my first acting gigs when I first started working as an actor. Um, my first job was uh, a guest star on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And um, I was a struggling actor at the time, um, working hard to keep a roof over my head. And then the next thing I knew, I was working with Sarah Michelle Gellar and David Boreanaz on a back lot in Hollywood at three in the morning doing stunts. 
and uh, it was surreal and a dream come true. And um, I don't think at the time um, I really appreciated it for what it was because I was so nervous and so out of my depth. So it might be nice to go back and, and relive that experience for starters. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Okay, so first of all, thank you so much for coming here. I literally cannot believe you're sitting right in front of me, and it's insane. Oh my god. Um, okay, <laughs> so my question is, what was the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on the set of Prison Break? The funniest thing? Yeah. Uh, huh. There weren't a lot of laughs on that show. It was pretty dark. Um, but Dominic is, he's a cut up. Uh, he keeps things interesting. I'm trying to remember a specific joke or um, some bit of, of funny business. I can't off the top of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you anyway. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Sophie. Thank you for being here. I was wondering what the differences are between Michael and you in real life. Between Michael and him in real life? Is that your question? Yes. The difference? Yeah. Okay, yes. between Michael um, and you. Michael's a convict. For starters, um, he's been to prison. Uh, he's responsible for uh, for uh, a death or two. Um, I'm none of those things, to my knowledge. <laughs> uh, I think Michael is also um, fiercely loyal. Um, I can be loyal too, but um, he's willing to go to uh, certain extremes that um, I think I would be hesitant to go to, that your average person would be hesitant to go to. He's a fictional character in that regard. Um, and it's uh, one of the distinctions between Michael and myself is that if he is a superhero, you know, he's, he's meant to be a real person. He doesn't have superpowers. But um, his belief in himself and his fanaticism, these are the things that make him extraordinary. And um, sometimes I don't believe in myself. Uh, and I don't have that fanatical kind of quality. So he's an extremist. And I think of myself as being more middle of the road, maybe. OK, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. What was your reason to become an actor? Uh, I became an actor because Acting is an excuse to do and say inappropriate things. And I tend to be a very appropriate person, so it was helpful to find a context in which I could act up and uh, get paid for it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, you're the actor I like not just for acting, but also for what you do. Uh, to help people with mental health issues. I think it's really important that some people can have an idol to look up to and say he went through the same thing I did mm. and maybe that can help them become a little bit stronger for a while. And I wanted to know, um, you're the ambassador now of uh, Active Minds and I wanted to know if there's, there are maybe any plans to expand something like this to help people more um, nat uh, national-wide um, Mm. if you plan to do something. I think it's a great idea. It's a conversation that needs to be had in more places. Um, more and more people need to, I think, uh, in a way that feels appropriate and safe for them, um, speak up about uh, what they're going through as far as mental health. Um, I would like to be a part of that conversation in whatever way feels real and possible and safe for me. Uh, at the moment, I'm not able to participate as much as I'd like because I've got a lot of stuff going on on the personal front. Mm -hmm. But um, once those things are settled and taken care of, then my hope is to re-enter into that conversation in some way possible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. 
Hi, so my question is, did you ever steal anything from the set of Prison Break, like a little souvenir or something like that? That would be appropriate, right? Yeah, that would steal be appropriate. From yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think I stole anything from the set of, of Prison Break. I, don't, I've, I asked for things and <laughs> was given things. But I, I never had to steal anything. Or no. did you ever take something from another set you acted on? Is From a real person that I acted on? Or? No, another set. Uh, a movie. No, I, I don't tend to take things that don't belong to me. <laughs> The, no. I have a feeling they really want you to steal something yeah. from someone. <laughs> Thank you Sorry for your question. Sorry. Thank you. All right. Hi. Hi. Um, what do you like the most about your character, Michael Schofield? Uh, that he's a survivor. I think that's, that's one of um, the, uh, the pleasures of watching Michael Schofield is that he suffers and he suffers and he suffers and um, comes out the other side. Um, not always in one piece, but he does survive. Uh, and in that way, I think he's, he's potentially inspiring. And um, it's another way in which he is a superhero, is that he is able to survive certain situations that would, that would finish the next person. Thank you. Thank you. Hi again. Um, I hope you had a great time so far here in Germany. I have. Thank you. And uh, my question is, um, you recently posted on Instagram that you had finished up your last episodes of DC's Legends of Tomorrow and The Flash. And I was wondering, is that really it, like forever? Or would you ever come back for a few episodes on either of these series if the teams asked you to? I have one more episode to shoot, uh, which I'll do in January. And I think it's going to be an episode of The Flash. And then that is it for me contractually. Um, but I will never say never, because I do enjoy these characters so much. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of affection for the cast, mm -hmm. and it's a really hard-working crew. I enjoy working in Vancouver, so there are many reasons to come back. It just has to be the right, it has to be the right story. And so far, I think we've done a really good job of exploring all that Leonard Snart is mm -hmm. um, in his various incarnations. Uh, if the powers that be can prove to me that there's more story there that's worth telling, I'll certainly consider it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice thank day. You. Thank you, you too. Um, hi, uh, my question is also related to Prison Break. So in the TV show you are playing the role as a man who puts a long life story behind him and where well, also a lot of feelings, emotions, um, disappointments, and also hopes uh, are included within. And I personally get already a big fan of you, Michael Schofield, and also the other characters while I watched it on TV. And my question is, how is it for you? So how do you separate these two personalities between yourself and Michael Schofield? Um, and how difficult is it for you to isolate especially the role of Schofield um, from your daily lifestyle? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't typically have trouble distinguishing between myself and Michael Schofield. Um, I'm helped by the fact that there's a set, there are other actors, um, there's a script, there's lights, there's cameras. Um, so I know when I'm Michael Schofield and I'm, I know when I'm not Michael Schofield. I will take him home with me, though, if I'm not careful. Um, it's a dark show, you know, there, there's, there's a lot going on. It's, it's heavy. Um, people are dying. There's a lot of bloodshed. And um, even though I know it's not real intellectually, if I play the same scene where I'm being beaten up 30 times in a row, some part of my, my physical body, because I'm acting like it's true, yes. will believe it's true. So at the end of the day, it's important for me to um, kind of acknowledge for myself that, all right, that was pretend, I'm safe, that didn't happen, I'm a different person, I'm home now, um, and I can let that go. And that might look like uh, taking a walk around the block, it might look like um, a hot bath with Epsom salts, or maybe lighting a candle, or a dinner conversation with a friend or watching a show that's a comedy so I can I can laugh 
um, something to distinguish between, all right, this is my real life, this is who I am, this is what's true, and this is what I do over here for a living. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, it's really great that you are here. <laughs> I hope you can see us. I and can. see that we are great fans. <laughs> and awesome costumes. Thank you. And I'm just here for my friend. So she wants to ask a question, but she's so nervous. So okay. I have to go first and okay. talk with you. Mm. And now, Marisa, you have to ask. Okay. Um, so my question is prison break related. Mm. Um, and I was wondering, you're an amazing writer as well. And Thank if you, you ever had a chance to write an episode, would you do it? And do you think the ending of Michael having a happy end is better than the ending of season four? Mm. Uh, in answer to your first question, I never had the temptation to write an episode of Prison Break because I trusted that Paul Schering and the other writers, they know what's best. They also have a certain sensibility, which is not necessarily mine. The things that I've written before are, um, are thrillers, um, domestic thrillers specifically. So government conspiracies, prison breaks, um, engineering, these things are not <laughs> necessarily um, my go-tos creatively. So I leave that to the powers that be. And I, I was satisfied with um, the, the final ending. Um, the fifth season of Prison Break, Michael, Lincoln in the park with their loved ones. It was a moment of um, relaxation and joy and calm and peace. Whether, that, whether any of that can actually continue is, um, is another question. I think given everything that Michael and Sarah and Lincoln have been through, um, they have every right to spend the rest of their lives paranoid and vigilant and worried about threats behind every corner. And if the show does continue, um, that might be where we pick up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have time for two more questions, mm. and then we have to close it down. <laughs> Is Hi it there. on? Hi. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just uh, just a little bit close to the microphone, oh, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I would love to know um, where do you find peace in your life? Uh, I'm working on finding it within, you know, so I can carry it here with me wherever I am, um, no matter what the circumstances might be. Um, this sort of environment is um, stressful <laughs> <laughs> to a certain degree. It's not my natural habitat. Lights, noise, people, strange place. Um, if I were searching for peace out here, I'm not sure I would find it. So it's important to me to cultivate a sense of inner peace. So no matter where I am, no matter who I'm talking to or what I'm doing, um, there's something that feels safe and protected in here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Randworth. I'm Hello. Jessica. Uh, I'm deeply grateful to meet you here and uh, creating unforgettable memories. Uh, I know you are not fluent in German, that's why I do my best and will stick to the English language. I'm nervous. Um, after everything you have achieved in life and have been through, is there something you still miss? Are you finally happy or do you still have a few goals you want to reach? I mean, are you considering writing more screenplays or even a book? Or are you going to concentrate more on your acting? Maybe you like the balance. Could you, sorry, could you speak into the microphone? Because yeah. we're, we're moving forward, but <laughs> the sound keeps saying the same. Yeah. Uh, one more time, please. One more time. Yeah. After everything you have achieved in life and have been through, is there something you still miss? Are you finally happy? Or do you still have a few goals you want to reach? OK, so do you have any other goals in your life that you would like to achieve? I think there are things I haven't. Uh, fully expressed yet as an actor. Um, I think I'd like to imagine there are some um, more dramatic roles or comedic roles out there for me to uh, tackle uh, and enjoy. But um, I, don't, I don't tend to look at my life through the lens of what don't I have, um, what has not happened for me yet, uh, who I haven't met. I tend to focus on what I do have, um, what I'm lucky enough to call my own. Um, the experiences I've already had that have brought me joy and lessons, um, challenges, growth, change, and shift. 
So um, I want for nothing, and it's a both and, not an either or. Um, there are still plenty of things that, that I would like to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wentworth, thank you so much thank for taking so the much. time answering our questions. Pleasure. Wentworth Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys.